What's going on Pixel Hackers? Christian Lovrasich from Pixel Feed here. In this video, we're gonna go over how to set up Facebook's Pixel conversion events for iOS 14. But before we get started, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and let's dive right in. All right, so Facebook has been rolling out updates in order to prepare for the iOS 14 update that's coming anywhere from January to March. Uh, if you're watching this before it has come out, we have to make sure we do this as I explained in a previous video because we're switching to seven day conversion windows and we're only gonna be able to track eight conversion pixel events. If you're watching this and you're new to Facebook ads, you have to make sure you set your pixel the proper way in order to be able to track all the events into your account and give Facebook the right data that it needs in order to optimize and get you the results that you want. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that we're gonna do is, you know, we're inside your account, ads manager. So I have an account pulled up right here. And then we're gonna to go to the menu right here under business tools. And we're gonna open up events manager. That's gonna open up a new tab over here. And what this is going to do is, it's going to pull up the pixel for your account. All right? So when you go in here, you're gonna see all your events, everything is set up. If you have Cappy set up on your Shopify store, it's gonna give you a prompt here, letting you know how the matching quality is. So the first thing you gotta do is make sure you go to your settings, scroll down, make sure advanced matching is on, and make sure all of these are on. This is a new client, so I'm gonna to have to yell at them because I told them to turn these on and they haven't. But anyway, you gotta have all of these on. It's very, very important that you do that. Next, we're gonna go back to overview and you're going to see a little new tab right here if you haven't seen it. It says aggregated event measurement new. You're gonna click on that and you're gonna see this, uh, this prompt right here. It says, these are events processed through the aggregated event measurement protocol which allows for the measurement of web events from people on iOS 14 devices. So you're gonna click the big blue button here that says configure web events. That's going to take you to your actual domain so you can set it up and start tracking all the proper events in the proper um, sequence, okay? From most important to less important. Now, since I have a bunch of accounts and clients and all that, I'm gonna see a list of a bunch of domains. You gotta make sure your domain is verified. Okay, and when it's verify, it will tell you, you know, it will show the events right here. This is the number of events. So this one has two, and this one's owned by another business, but it is verified. So I can go in here. Yours should be verified first, and you do that under business settings, right? So in order to do that, you go in here. Let me show you guys real quick where you do it. So you will go to business settings. If you haven't verified your domain, you're going to go to uh, brand safety, domains, that's gonna load and you're gonna add your domain here, follow instructions and that's how you verify your domain if you haven't verified it. So we go back here after it's you know been verified and you're gonna click right here and it shows you the events that are set up already. So we need to edit those events. And just like that with the magic of editing, I logged into another one of my accounts to make it easier to follow. So this one has the one event which is purchase. That's my highest priority. So we're gonna go in here, we're gonna click edit events and it's gonna tell you, it may take up to 48 hours to see results in ads and ads and measurements. Once Apple begins enforcing its app tracking transparency framework on iOS 14 devices, changes to event configurations will cause any impacted ad sets and ads to be paused for 72 hours to allow the changes to take effect. Some configuration changes could cause ads and ad sets to no longer run. What does this mean? Make sure that you're ready for it and anything that you're running might stop running. So get ready to launch new campaigns. All right, so keep an eye on your all your campaigns and ad sets. So you're gonna click on edit. Then this right here is gonna come up, all right? If it's a brand new store like this one, it's gonna be, this one's not running ads right now, it's not a new store, but if you're running ads and you have plenty of data, you're gonna turn value optimization on. And that's only available when you're getting 100 or more purchases in the last uh, seven days. So you gotta be getting at least uh, 100 purchases a week to turn this on and it's gonna optimize for value, okay? I talked about this in the, the release notes for the video. Okay, so obviously this is an e-com store, for example. So my highest priority is gonna be purchase, right? So purchase is number one. So now we gotta think, okay, what comes next? So we go to add event, 
and then we're gonna choose our pixel and we're gonna choose our next event. So which one's the next one down? That's gonna be add payment info and so on. So what's after that? Pixel, you choose your pixel. Uh, what's before that? Well, initiate checkout, right? Don't get confused. Don't do add to cart here. It's initiate checkout if it's e -com. And then you work your way down. So add to cart. And then I'm gonna add another event. I'm gonna go in here. And then we're gonna go, let's see, we got add to cart. Before add to cart, we want view content in this particular example because that's the order that I want and of importance. Then I'm gonna go in here, keep going. So what's before view content? Usually it's page views, but you don't have page views. So I'm gonna choose lead because a lead is very important to me. Why is that? Because a lead builds up my email list. I tell you guys all the time, the money's on the list. So I'm gonna choose lead and then before that, I have eight, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah. So I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna do, 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 do search. So I have seven. So for standard ecom, you're gonna have seven. This is how I would set up my standard ecom, right? The cool thing is that we have an extra one, right? So we can set up, if you have any custom conversions set up, you can choose your custom conversion from here. So if you don't know what a custom conversion is, just search my channel. There's a there's a video where I explain what custom conversions are. So it gives you their opening here. Now, let's say you're running lead generation. Then your ultimate goal up top, it's going to be lead because that's your ultimate. That's your ultimate goal, right? So it will be lead and then search or pages or view content or whatever. So keep that in mind. Remember, the top uh, option that you choose right here, it's going to be your ultimate goal and what you essentially want Facebook to optimize for because Facebook is going to optimize for the most important one. So it's going to count the purchase before add payment info and initiate checkout. So if a person uh, completes all of these, starting with view content, add to cart, initiate checkout, Facebook is only going to register purchase. So make sure your most important event is at the top. If you're doing purchases, if you're going for leads, make sure lead is at the top because that's what Facebook is going to track. And it, same with leads. If you're getting 100 leads in one week, then you can turn on your value optimization. If you're getting 100 purchases in a week, you can turn on your value optimization, which Facebook will do even a better job of tracking and optimizing for. Once you get all of that done, you go right here to submit. You submit that. Make sure you keep track of all of this. Uh, read this. It's basically giving you the warning that ad sets are going to be paused. It's going to optimize like this. Highest priority to lowest priority. You're going to click yes. I understand these changes. You're going to hit apply. And then that's it. You successfully change event configurations. You click OK and then you're good to go. Guys, if you like that video, make sure to check out the links in the description below. Help support the channel. And if you want to keep learning about Facebook ads, Facebook marketing, digital marketing in general, make sure to check out one of the videos right above me. And I will see you guys in the next video.